Hello everyone, and welcome back, this time extremely unexpectedly, to Guild Wars 2. Yeah, I was content and set just to have two videos covering this game, but by popular demand, we're back. So many of you guys asked me for another video on this, and who am I to say no? I can't resist when you look at me like that. Yeah, yeah, you know who you are. You look at me with those big puppy dog eyes going, Zephyr, please, can we have some more? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> so, before I say anything else, I also want to say thank you. Because some viewers among you have sent me in-game items through the in-game mail. You guys have given me extra bag slots. Um, not bag slots, no, that's separate. Just big bags, like 18 slot bags. You sent me equipment, you sent me dyes, one of you sent me like 50 unidentified dyes, which I was able to just open up and add all of them to my collection. It's crazy, and <laughs> hell, one among you even sent me a code I could download or apply to my game, and it redeemed a cool cosmetic armor set and some other goodies. It's just crazy, you guys are just so kind. It's ridiculous, so thank you a lot, sincerely. So, what exactly are we going to be doing in this video beyond thanking you guys? Well, I have reached level 30, and that means I am able to do my very first dungeon. And after that, I want to take a look at PvP, because I've done a little PvP, and... It just, it's just been 5 versus 5 arenas, but there's also this bigger game mode called World vs. World, which I still have no idea about. I've never touched that, so we could do that too. So first, here in the character select screen, let's have a look at our characters. So we still have my Silvari Engineer, Severian Terrasun. I haven't touched this character outside of doing the odd daily mission that my other characters were too low for. I have retired this character for now, because right after I finished recording that second video, I went and made a Norn Guardian. His name is Obar Brundi, and he is a hearty old soul. Oh man, I was so delighted to find that the male Norn character is actually voiced by Matt Mercer, Matthew Mercer, that legend. Uh, I recognized his voice immediately, and uh, yeah, this armor set here, this that you see right in here, this is the one I redeemed the code for that one of you guys sent me, so thank you. I look cool because of you. <laughs> so I'm level 35 on him. I have 18% map completion, easily my most played character right now. But beyond him, I also tried making a necromancer. This is Corva the Sinner a female char necromancer. I'm sad to say, but I kind of just bounced completely off of this. Thanks to some vendors in the early areas, I was able to try out every single combination of weapons and all skills available for necromancer, but nothing clicked. There was nothing I really liked, so Corva is benched as well. She is retired. I'll play her eventually. I would love to get a max level necromancer eventually, but for now, I'm pretty sure she's just gonna be a bank character. I'll use her bag slots for extra storage, you know? Um, and while you may be wondering what sins Corva the Sinner committed, well, the answer to that is tax evasion and necrophilia. <clears throat> anyway, after that, I made a female human Mesmer. Her name is Sybil Ambrose. I went with the nob nobility background for her. Now, now Mesmer? That is blowing my mind. I love what, is Mes what Mesmer's doing. All these illusions and tricks and debilitations that don't deal damage outright, but instead make enemies hurt themselves whenever they try to attack and just daze and confuse and just pretty much just stuns lock them. It's crazy. I really like Mesmer. Uh, I'm rocking the Scepter plus Offhand Pistol for her, and my alternate weapon is the Stave. That's what I like the most, but I also really like the Greatsword on Mesmer. <laughs> yeah, I freaked out 
First when I realized that mesmers, these frail cloth-wearing mages, can wield great swords. Then I freaked out again when I realized the great sword on mesmer is a long-range sniper weapon. Yeah, they just kind of throw, hold their sword up and they fire lasers out of it at long range. Then they throw ghost great swords at their enemies and make clones that spin like crazy at them. It's <laughs> Mesmers are cool. So, one last thing before we actually dive in on Obar Brundi. We're going to actually wrap up a little loose end because... Since the last video, I have made the purchase. I bought the collection. I own all three expansions now, which means we can take a look at the Revenant. I still have no idea what a Revenant is. Odds are I've seen many while questing around and adventuring, but I still don't know it by sight. So let's pick a male human just for the best look here. Revenant. Oh! <laughs> Oh! Oh, that is edgy! Jeez! Yo! Okay, Revenant, melee or ranged, invokes legendary heroes, magic-wielding fighter. Revenants invoke the power of legendary heroes from Tyria's past, spending their own energy to channel the abilities used by those figures. They are reliable allies and dangerous enemies. Yo, wait. Yo, I, wait, I said... I remember saying that Revenant conjures to mind the thought of ghosts, but that would be more Necromancer's domain, so I was confused. No, they summon, like... They channel the abilities of what sounds like lore characters. Maybe, like, from Guild Wars 1? I... I don't actually know if Guild Wars 1 is a prequel or just an alternate universe. Actually, I, I have no idea what Guild Wars 1 is like. Uh, That's cool. That's really cool. I want to make one just to test it out and see what's what. But, um... <laughs> regrettably, I only have five character slots and there are nine playable classes. So, gotta choose carefully, man. I, 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 I'm not sure I'm ready to spend real money on making more character slots, especially when I haven't even got one character to max level. Anyway, enough chat here. Let's hop into the game. Into Holbrek, the capital city of the Norn. I don't know what this futuristic skyscraper-looking art is. That is nothing close to what this actually is. It's kind of weird. That's like, that's like modern-day buildings, you know? Like, look in the top left. I see... Yeah, right here, there's a big crane. I see yellow and it goes across horizontally. That's just a crane. What is that? Ugh. Well, whatever. And we're in. Holbrek. You can see my weapon, too. I actually just found this, like, the last time I was playing. I got this from a world boss. Some fire elemental in the... Um... In the Asura starting zone? Yeah, drop this for me, it's really cool, and it's the best greatsword I found. So yeah, I'm rocking the greatsword as my primary weapon, and my alternate is a sword and torch. Yeah, I was I was ridiculously surprised to find that torches are an entire weapon type. You can breathe fire with them on Guardian and uh, set yourself on fire in your zealotry, I suppose? But, uh, yeah, there's also a Warhorn weapon type, which was also surprising to me. Anyway, one more thing to say here. It wasn't just kindness that I received from people who watched my videos and sent me mail. I also got kindness from complete strangers. So, not long after I made this character, I was just running around the starting zone for the Nor and just doing my thing. When someone in the zone chat said, Hey, any newbies here want to get a raptor mount? And I was like, Uh, yeah? <laughs> so this absolute legend just wrangles me up and a bunch of other newbies and runs us through some locations and we eventually wind up in this weird instance dungeon, which was like this 
desert place and I fell through a ship at one point and I, uh, I, I just followed along and obeyed his instructions and by the end of it, I came out of it with Yoshi. Say hi, Yoshi. I guess I have him out. So, I'm sure every Guild Wars fan knows full well how cool the mounts are, but coming from World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy, my mind's been a bit blown by these. These feel so different. In those games, mounts are just extensions of your character. Your fundamental movement does not change. But this raptor... It has a startup time, it has different leaning speeds for moving, it jumps crazy far like this for speed boost. It it feels like you're riding a mount. It's not just a movement speed, this is a mount you're riding on. It's very cool. I like the mounts. Oh, let's take a look at my dies here. Okay, so first, look at all these I've unlocked. I've unlocked all these common dies. These few uncommon dies, and this handful of four rare dies. That is all thanks to a kind stranger who sent me 50 dies. <laughs> oh my goodness, crazy. And I used a few of them to make myself look all pretty. But the best thing? You can die your mounts. Let's pick this, this vivid uh, ice blue sea breeze. We could just make him a bit bluer if we want it. Though I like purple. I like purple a lot. Actually, teal might be a better fit for my current appearance. So let's try that. Look at that beauty. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, one thing before we hop into a dungeon real quick. I think enough time has passed. I think my account has fully validated, which means... I have full unrestricted access to the bank. No, not, not, not the bank. I mean the auction house, the trading post. So let me just do a little quick look here. Other dies. Oh my god, they aren't locked out. <gasps> I can buy new dies. Strawberry cream, nineteen copper. <gasps> I'll buy one. And I'll, I'll take, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take. Uh, oh man. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yeah. Die unlocked. Oh, it's it's new. It's right. Yes. Gentlemen, I have seventeen gold, eighteen silver, and twenty-five copper to my name. I am going to spend all of it on as many dies as I can because fashion is more important than anything. I'm dead serious. Maybe laughing, but I'm serious. I want dies. I need dies. I need them badly. So, as for the dungeon, now I'm prepared. I could go in as my damage dealing brute with all the spinny slashes and sigils and spinny conjured swords and crazy buffs for my allies, or I could swap. I can swap my equipment and my talents. I'm done here. My build. And just like that, and easy a change as that, I am now a healer. I'm built for healing. I got auras where I can just heal allies and buff their might. I got bows I can rain down to heal, heal arrows. I can breathe healing mists. And I can even swap to a mace and shield for a more defensive play. Bash enemies up close, lay down sigils that debilitate enemies and buff allies. Buff allies with this, I can block projectiles as I move around with this. And put shields on everyone. Um, I haven't really put this through the test. I'm very unfamiliar with how this healer setup plays. But I am prepared to fit the criteria for whatever my group will ask me to do. Except tank. I don't have a bill for tanking. I mean, I suppose I could do this if I just focus on self-healing, but I don't know. Um, so, that is my equipment. So I suppose all that's left now 
is to find myself a group to do a dungeon with, so I won't make you sit through that. Let's just cut ahead real quick. Okay, everyone, here we are in the Ascalonian Catacombs. Apparently there are a bunch of human ghosts doing You're scary not the things. You're reinforcements I expected, but you'll do. That fool Norn Air has stirred up the ghosts down here. Oh, Let me I know her. You. This place has a history, and I don't want your ignorance getting us killed. This was originally Charland. The humans pushed us out and built Ascalon on top of it. Over 200 years ago, we took our land back. Oh, this is nice. Wow. All this cutscene stuff for a dungeon? That's awesome. The human king, Adelburn, watched his soldiers panic as we breached the city gates. Facing certain defeat, the doomed king refused to surrender. Retreat? Retreat is not an option. Smashed his ancient blade, Magder. Cursed Ascalon. You will not abandon me! Wow. Rude. the attacking legions and turned the defending humans into vengeful spirits. We will never surrender! Never! The ghosts see the living as invaders. They show no mercy and no weariness. Only blind hatred. Battle burns hatred. And now, air's gone right into the Dead King's lair. What a mess. They're going after her. She's causing trouble, and I don't want anyone dying because of her foolishness. Well, Air Stigalkin is part of the Norn storyline. Well, I guess here we are with my party members. We got Hallucinor, Yugi Kim, Prophet White Mane, and Totime. Uh, I tried asking them if, I, if they wanted me to heal, but they said nothing, so I guess I'll just go DPS, because it's what I'm more familiar with. Oh man, so many shiny lights. I think we got another Guardian here. And, uh, an Elementalist. Okay, let me just drop a buff for my allies. Whoa! Okay. I wish... I wish I could see, like, life bars above my allies' heads. So I could know how they're doing and whether or not to do a heal. Because even in this DPS build, I do have a heal build. Or a spell I can do. Okay, everyone's staying topped up. Oh, there's their health bar. Oh, you have to, like, look at them to see the health. Can I salute there? Whoa, I got some good loot. Okay, we'll take a look at that after all this. Another buff for my allies. Gather everyone all up. Spin to win, baby. Oh my god, this is a lot. <laughs> so many freaking lights. Uh, I know in Final Fantasy XIV I turn off ally abilities. I might have to do that for... I died. I did not see those fire thingies. Uh, okay. I cannot map travel while in combat. Uh. Like they can't res me. That per that elementalist tried to raise me, but she got caught in the fire. Uh, can't warp in combat. It says, "Oh Lord." If I saw these, I would have just rolled through. Are you guys fighting something? I can't warp. Oh, they're raising me. They found an angle. Prophet White Mane. There we go. Okay, dodge roll. Jeez. Oh, baby. Thanks, lol. <laughs> oh, they have no idea I'm recording a YouTube video, but I want them to know that I'm very grateful. <laughs> Whoa, lots of danger zones on the ground. Dodge roll through. And I still got hit. Maybe let's just not step on them. Man, even though I'm a tanky-ass guardian, 
This is no joke. Oh my god. Some sort of boss? No, that's not a boss. It's melting too fast. Oh. Okay, we got boulders on the ground. Can we do something with these? I can lob it. Take that, gate. What to do? Report. Uh. What do? We needed the boulder? What? Oh, so there's more. There's more. Okay, what? Uh, I didn't know. I just threw away that boulder. Let me go here, apparently. Um. Okay, let's just go through. Fire is scary and bad. I'm gonna. Oh my god. This is not very easy. Well, there's some combat. I'm good at combat. Let us fight the combat and do the. Let's try using our. our, uh, shield. Our, uh, no, our, not our shield, our sword and torch more. Breathe fire on them. Use my spinny sword to get some vulnerability charges. Set myself on fire for AoE damage. Uh, how much is my inventory filling up? Okay, that's that's not too bad. Oh, I see. We put a boulder on the pressure plate. Okay. I didn't even see a plate. Man, these things hit you, you actually do take a bit of damage. Ridlock, what are you doing here? I came to stop you from inciting a full-scale ghost rampage. Why are you here? I'm looking for King Adelburn's legendary weapon, the sword called Magdir. Oh, Magdir. yeah, that'd be good to have. Magdir was destroyed when the Sorcerer King set off the full fire. I think it survived. I believe the sword will be found at the top of these stairs. You are following a foolish human legend. You of all people should know the power of legends. You bear Magdare's twin, Sohothan. It was Rurik's sword. What if I do? Adelburn's sword is no more, just like his nation. Then let us go up the stairs and see for ourselves. Well, I have no idea who Ritlock is, but I know Air is cool, and I like her. Oh. Troll. Troll, be careful. We can take it. Let's, uh, maybe keep our distance a bit. Oh. 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 Jeez. Okay. Well, we can teleport to our target. Let's drop a shield so we don't get taken out. Ooh. Oh! I saw that damage field. Oh, I can revive an ally. Heal you up, heal you up. Get you back on your feet, soldier. I got you. Oh! That's just this regular ass cave troll. Oh my god. Oh, I'm downed. Crap, but I'm not out. I can fight to survive. Okay, I can use abilities to heal myself. Oh, are we good? Oh, Aerith's here! I didn't notice! Let's, let's get her back on her feet. Huh. I don't see... Oh, there's Ritlock. Okay. So we got Air and Ritlock. I assume Ritlock is the Char equivalent to Air in that he's kind of like an important person for the Char players. Wait, did one of us leave? Uh-oh. We're four-manning this now. That's great. Okay, uh, I can't help but feel that someone got tired of my noobishness. Okay. Uh, hit all my buttons. Okay. You guys going down with our ranged attacks. Not bad. Okay, that wasn't as bad as the troll. Boy, it is 
difficult to parse stuff. That is a chest. I want that chest. What ha- my- why cutscene? Let me get Ritlock, chest. The broken sword. It's the twin to your own. Worry more about the sword's master. Look there! I sense Sir Hawthorne's presence. Rurik, my son! You've returned! Your son is dead. So is your kingdom. Leave us! Foul creature. Your entire race will pay. Even now, my champions prepare to invade the surface. You will fall before the might of Master Major Nente, Deadly Kasha Blackblood, and the lovers Rolina and Vassal. We'll destroy you as you destroy oh, us! Oh no, not the lovers. You frighten oh, no one I'm with so your scared. meaningless threats. We've killed you before. We'll do it again. <laughs> now you've angered them. They were already angry. Now we must find his champions and silence them. Well, okay. Oh, our person came back. I don't know what happened then. Well, we got loot. We got... I'm gonna say in the chat, neat. Just to let them know I think this is neat. Oh, I got feared and a lot of debuffs. But we're good. Oh, there's the ranger. But he's up there. He can oh he can fire at us, surely, because he is a ranger. That's what rangers do. How's my inventory space doing? Still good, but I can deposit all materials. How's it? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a big, angry skull icon. He's probably a boss. Your desire to destroy is still unsatisfied, beast. Burning Ascalon, not enough for you. As long as you stalk us, we'll fight you tooth and claw. By Melandru's will, I will rend you from this world, Char. It's kind of weird how they're the ghosts with hair, they're... Their hair isn't ghosts, they just have regular hair. This is an awfully small platform. Oh my god, he's dead. I think we have to swap weapons for that dude. A chest. Uh, ha. I thought I'd die for a second. Nice, more stuff. Gotta help my friends. Excellent. Where to next? Uh, I'm going to follow them. They know the way, surely. Oh, this way. Back the way we came. Oh, is it like wings? Yeah, I think there might be wings. We did the, the west wing. So maybe east? Oh, I see the marks of these skulls on the minimap on the corners. That's good to know. Not a lot of enemies in here. Oh, there's some. Where did we get up there? Hatchlings. Let's kill them. Excellent. More buffs for my allies. Oh, they're all there. Thanks entirely and solely to my buffs. Without that, we would have wiped. I am dead certain about that. Ah, oh, it's Kasha. Why are you here? This is the land of ghosts. Stand down, Spectre. We seek only to protect the living. Don't chat with her, heir. Dispatch her! I like this guy. He's cool. <laughs> He's more my speed. Okay, just buff up, drop all my stuff, spin, swap weapons, and she's dead. That's really a boss. That's... I'm just gonna assume that everyone's just so overpowered. Like, I know there's level scaling, but 
After a certain point, it's just silly. Oh. I'm not sure why that closed, but... Okay. The Lover's Crypt. So we're gonna be facing two people, aren't we? Oh. What the... Can I stand in the nice shower? Oh. Invaders in this holy place? How rude! I will summon my dear Vassar, and together we will make short work of you. Careful, she's got a friend. Keep them apart. Oh, okay, pull them apart, I guess. Okay, fuck, drop stuff, spin the wind. Uh, back off maybe because I'm taking some damage. Okay, uh, let's try throwing fire from a range. And throw a shield. Uh oh, he got enraged probably. His lover died. What? Nothing we can't handle through sheer brute force. Boy, I just. Uh, the combat in this game is just very, very difficult to parse in group content. Like, I'm, I'm sure it's not just you guys. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, here we warp to the Merle's Waypoint. Looks like the boss appeared in the center now. Excellent. One last cutscene, I suppose. What have you done? Your champions are gone, Ghost. Just like your son and your kingdom. I will have my vengeance. Join me in death. Okay, uh, I'll join you to death after I die of old age, old man. Buff up. Drop, drop, drop. Spin the wind. Okay, this guy's actually lasting quite a bit longer than his minions. Oh, he's facing me now. I think I have his attention, but I'm getting healed by my ally. Drop more stuff. Keep going at it. Someone knocked him down on his butt. He's almost dead. And he's dead? That's it. We did it. I think that's it. You've defeated me, but what have you gained? Much deadlier things stir beneath us. They'll consume you all. Magdare is shattered, but I know a blacksmith who can mend these pieces. Did you really think that if you got me a sword, you'd earn forgiveness? For you, the sword would be for Logan. What? Why would you risk our who? lives, my life, for that coward? I thought it would heal old wounds. It would remind you... Remind me of what? Betrayal? Ah, you've become a sentimental old woman. We're finished here. Why does Ridlock hate Logan? Mistakes from a lifetime ago. Best forgotten. Oh yeah, I guess I suppose, right. I suppose I forgot to show I've you my character's face. That's me. Too weak. Well, cool. Awesome work, all. Ago. Thanks for the party. He blames me. Now I will loot they everything. Oh, I leveled up. Awesome. The thing is, they may be right. What is explorer mode? Grats on story mode. Hope you guys enjoy explorer mode. Uh Well, sure. Let's take a closer look at everything we got. This chest, event rewards, 50 whole silver. Okay, and I leveled up, and I got plus 20 to my primary attributes, and a small crafting bag. Excellent. Now let's leave. Oh, no, I should have talked to Air. Uh, whatever. I don't, I don't really care that much. <laughs> well, alright, that's that dungeon all settled up and done. That was very fun, but it was kind of a lot like 
it was just a lot of chaos and confusion and I didn't know what was going on and it was just so difficult to parse. I... Like, I know I'm a newbie, but I'm no stranger to MMOs. I've been playing MMOs for 20 years. And that was just a lot to deal with. Lots of small text, lots of crazy effects. I mean, I have no trouble reading what's going on in World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV. It's just... Uh, this game just throws a lot at you in dungeons with all that group play and all those abilities and everything. It's... It's a very fast-paced, action-oriented game, which I'm, I guess is to be expected, but I don't know, man. I'm not sure I liked it. I think, I think I might stray away from dungeons and just stick to open-world content and anything else of that nature. Well, anyway, off-camera, I did get my inventory all sorted. I got more magic find. I got some upgrades. As you can see, I'm using different gauntlets. Um, not as cool looking, and I don't feel like spending the transmutation charge to get my old look back, but, uh, also got some upgraded weapons, and now, here, we're in the PvP hub. This is the PvP lobby, and you can go here and just hang out and buy some neat stuff with PvP currency, and up here, I want to show something really cool. Um, someone who... Um, watched my video and invited me to a party to explain a bunch of stuff. He actually showed this off. These are champions. These are players who got immortalized as statues as like big seasonal winners, I guess. And yeah, you can just see players as statues to honor their achievement of kicking ass in the ring, which is very cool. Well, it's our time to get into the ring. I'm PvP rank 3, should rank up to PvP 4 rank 4 with my next match. Now, I for my sword and shield, I did swap out the torch for a focus, because I do prefer that instead of the torch for PvP. The focus lets you do some ranged attacks and do a nice shield that blocks attacks for you, so it's a bit more defensive, so we'll certainly start with our great sword and go swap as needed, but for now, let's open up our PvP tab. Um, here's a button where you can go to or leave the PvP lobby, and we can play an unranked arena match. Let's do it! Um, my PvP build is missing components. Are you sure you want to continue? I have no idea what it means by this. So let's open up the PvP build. I don't know what's missing. I have all these slots filled up for my weapons. I have accessories. I have everything selected here. Um, it, okay, it's asking me to fill these out, but I want to use this one. Like, I want this one active. Even if I filled these others out, I just select this one anyway, so... Yeah, I'm just... I'm good. I don't need to fill that in. I'm good. So, unranked arena, let's go. And now, we wait. Average queue time, two minutes, but you guys don't need to see that. Let's just hop right in. Here we go. Match ready. Everyone needs to accept. And... And... Every time. Every time. It doesn't matter what the game is. It doesn't matter what the genre is. Every time. There's that one... Guy. Every time. It's actually crazy. Every time. Without fail. I'm serious. It's a law of the universe. Water is wet, rocks fall down, grass is green, the sky is blue. There's always that one guy. Come on, <laughs> let me in. Oh, okay, okay, let's go. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it this time. No more one guy. No, 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 no more. No, wait, wait, hold on, no. <laughs> Not this time, dude. Oh, come on. No. For Christ's sake, it's just a two-minute queue. Why are you going away from your keyboard for so long? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we're in. We're in. Um, okay, I don't know any of these maps, but I think... I think this one has the prettiest art, so let's vote for that. 
Oh! Okay. Randomly picked from the choices? Yes, it's the one I picked! Temple of the Silent Storm. Okay. Little ice. Little... Um, little Tibet feel here. So... It looks like it's King of the Hill. Just control points. And I am ready. Yes. Okay. Oh, whoa! Bird's eye view! That's new! Whoa! Got airships? Cool place. Okay, who am I fighting with? Sailors. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. You're cool. I guess you're cool. We got Greedy Grinch. <laughs> okay. That's very fitting for an ice map. Um, Gulive. That is cool. Are you a Mesmer? I th no, you're a rogue, I think. A thief. That should be a Mesmer outfit. That's a Mesmer outfit. What are you doing? You are the worst sneak thief in the world. Senior Nerd. I think that's a fellow new player. I recognize that coat. My machinist is wearing that. Um... Right, so, gentlemen. Listen up. Alright, listen up, men. Okay, here's the, here's the war plan. I want you to focus on damaging the enemies while maintaining your health above zero. Okay? You. The best match name. starts soon. That means you too, okay? It's it's all of us, and I'm counting on you guys to carry me to victory, because I'm useless and worthless. Oh. This is a teleporter. Hello? Well, they're standing here, so I'm going to stand Hold here. Hold on to your Ooh. points! Seize theirs! Okay. Let's capture the nearest point to us. Get some points rolling in. First to 500 points wins. And we are the blue team. I'm not sure I've ever been the blue team yet. I think I've always been red. Help capture this because it goes faster with multiple people. I like you, senior nerd. I don't like You've you, captured senior nerd. The you abandoned me. You abandoned me. How could you? Your enemy has the gate. Okay, it looks like everyone's focusing on the mid, so I'm actually. Your enemy of... has the temple now. Oh yeah, I'm going to actually sneak around left and try and back cap. Yeah, I'm feeling sneaky. Let's do it. Yeah, that person didn't see me. Oh, I am so sneaky. I am just devilish. <laughs> yeah, I'm a better thief than that neon freak from earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is that the Charleston? <laughs> oh, I am the best player. <laughs> no, wait, someone back capped our point. You've got the temple! An eye for an eye makes the world blind, friends. You control an the eye gate! Eye for an eye. Well, I would Your go enemy help out in the middle. Altar. But. They probably got it. Mm, now let's go to mid. They might need me. Don't want to be accused of some lazy no good. No good. Er, what is down here? Hello? What the hell? Why is this so deep? What the hell? Okay, this map is pretty vertical. Oh, it's a nice shortcut to mid. You, you must die. Ho oh, ho! Just clean the hell up. Your enemy has the temple. Oh my now. god, I'm a cool. <laughs> Finish them. Mortal combat. Oh, I got some chests. I got daily PvP progress kills. Uh oh, there were three enforcements. Okay, buff everyone up. Immobilize you if I can. You captured the old. Oh, that was a mesmer illusion, wasn't it? It kind of vanished. Well, let's capture mid. You control the gate. Yes. I control the gate. It's me. I'm the hero of the day. Get rid you with a range attack as you try to flee. Wait, what? Oh, he swapped places. 
I am much better at PvP than I am uh, dungeon clearing. Because I can just kind of focus on my own thing instead of having to worry about babing others. Oh. Okay. You want some, huh? I have no idea where they're going. They're flipping out all over the place. Finish them! Okay. How's top left? Stillness has appeared! Oh. Someone's heading top left. Um. Well, guys, we can't hold mid all day. We have other things to do. Let's head up there. Okay, we're in the lead by quite a bit now. You and me, senior nerd. Hey, hey. Get back here. Where? No. Oh. The hell? Get back here. Hello? I don't know what. I don't know what profession that was, what class, but. They can be evasive, I suppose. Oh, Mid. Mid needs help. It's getting swarmed. Crap. Crap. Hurry, I'm so fat and slow. Hello? There's no, like, visual indication of these people entering stealth. They're just blipping out of existence. It's pretty disorienting. Now that's... murder. Cold-hearted and decisive. I haven't died yet. <laughs> it's kind of surprising. I'm doing very well this game. I think it's because no one's focusing on me. Let's fight up there. Your enemy has the temple now. Get back here. Hello? Okay. Finish him. I will never get tired of saying that. You're that mesmer who keeps disappearing. Your enemy has the gate. Oh, I tried to, I tried to freeze him in place, but you get back here. Wow, he did, he evaded my. Hmm. You've got the temple. Well, at the very least, we can capture this back. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm getting focused down now. I'm alone. Crap. Okay, just focus on dealing as much damage as I can before I go down. Okay, I'm actually holding my own, holy crap. Uh, backups arrived. Okay, I'm no longer alone. I have one other. Crap, he's going for me. He sees the blood in the water. Spin to win, baby. You don't want to be close to me. Okay, he's fleeing. That's good. More important to capture than to chase kills. Oh, he went down. Yeah, you go up and finish him, buddy. You control the gate. Uh, let's heal up if we can. You. Let's just kill them. Hey, get back here. Okay, I said get back here. Tranquility has appeared. There we go. <laughs> I think they can teleport while they're down. I think that's what Mesmers can do. Intriguing. That, that is assuming that is a Mesmer. Three points. Hold them at all oh. costs. Okay. This guy's attacking me. Just gotta stick to him like glue. Sock to my weapon. Okay, heal up. I'm gonna heal. Your enemy Swap weapons has the if I can. Now. Chase him. You can't get away from me. And he's down. Oh man. I feel like a juggernaut. And we still came close, but I didn't die this entire match, and we won. Your team is victorious. Yeah, I, I guess I did pretty well. Mm, no big deal. I did. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that big a deal. Yeah, I just. I just go in, I carry games, I. I take names. Mm, yeah, I'm good. You guys can thank me later. <laughs> well, looks like we got a lot of rewards, so let's hop back into that PvP lobby and check it out. Okay, here we are. We're back. Let's look at all our rewards. We got some chests. 
daily PvP rated game winner. These chests contain chests. Kadikus is a manor dungeon track tier 1 complete. Champion prototype golem loot box. Okay. Um, daily PvP player kills. Wonderful. And daily top stats. Oh, that's nice. See, even the game knows I'm good. Let's check out these rewards. Uh, what is this golem loot box? Yo. That helmet is better in every way. Okay, I will equip that. What? What happens to my old equipment? Oh, you know what? No, the reason it's not appearing is because it's still equipped on my other slot. That's right. Yeah, see? I have this old equipment and helmet and gloves on my healer set, and this is this new stuff. Okay. Well, I want this stuff equipped anyway, so... Let's return that. Okay, now it's equipped on everything I own. Wonderful. Okay, that solves the, that mystery. And we can salvage these two things, because I don't need them anymore. Uh, salvage that a bit to get some luck. No magic find up. Embroidered coin purses. Uh, I got some silver. Lovely. Another helmet. Don't need that. A shield. Ooh. 2673301. Is that? No, that's... That's better. That's better than my shield on my healer equipment set. So I'll equip that. Excellent, then I'll swap back. I'll use that and salvage that old shield I don't need. Uh, put our invent our materials into the bank, then open these. More crafting materials, just put that away. More materials. Oh, wait. Grant some PvP reward track progress. Okay. I got another chest. Hello? Oh, more chests? More everything? Um, oh, a spear. Is that better than my current spear? 261... 300, power and ferocity. That is better in every way. Yes, equip that. And equip it over here, too. Okay, excellent. And this is an old spear I no longer need. Can't even equip this harpoon gun, so I'll just salvage that. Uh, open this chest as well. More reward track progress, sure. Another chest? Okay, why freaking not? <laughs> um, 60 seals of Beetleton. I have no idea what that is, but I think it's one of my currencies. I don't know. More luck. No magic find up, but okay, that's my inventory sorted. All that reward from just one match. I'm very proud of that. Um, so now, to wrap up this video, fellas, let's try out World vs. World PvP for the very first time. So let's find out how to do that. So there's unranked... Um, league, tournaments, reward tracks, Miss Champions, Game Browser. Okay, world versus world, um... I'm not sure what I should look for in the first place. A create filter. Um... Team size. 8 versus 8? Is that what world versus world is? Now this is just making custom games for arena matches, isn't it? Oh, you can actually save and make new filters to just quickly swap between what you're looking for? That is really cool. Um, oh. These, are these players? I don't, I don't know what these are. Miss Champions. I don't, hmm. Um, World vs. World, hello? World, world versus world. Hello. I, I, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna poke around here real quick, guys. Give me give me a minute.
Okay, I'm an idiot. It's not in the PvP tab at all. It's here. World versus world. One thing to the left. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, 41 minutes remaining in current skirmish. Jade Quarry, that's me. Yeah, I, I, I'm on the server of Jade Quarry. Um, can I go to... A world versus world match? Eternal batter, Battlegrounds? Would you like to enter Eternal Battlegrounds? Um, can I go into Jade Quarry Alpine ba Borderlands? I have no idea what I'm in for. I have no idea what world versus world is. I mean, I assume it's large scale PvP? Question mark? Oh no, wait. Oh no, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh no. Oh, hello. Welcome to the mist, soldier. Feeling a little lost? Don't worry, I can help you find your way around. Uh, can you give me a quick overview of the area? You have a lot to learn, recruit. But I'm going to teach you how to survive and win out here. The goal is to capture and hold key points. Because doing so provides us with extra power we can use against our enemies. Let's begin by going over the areas we'll need to capture and hold. Alright. Whoa. Wait. Okay, I think I'm getting a sense of what you do here. So, hold on, hold, hold, hold up, hold up. This is like a... Oh my god. It is like some huge battleground where the servers fight? Yeah, this is the red is Kaining, blue is Dragonbrand, and green is me, Dra Jade Quarry. I'm Jade Quarry. Oh my god. So you go into these other places and you fight for control of territory? How many players is this at once? The hell? Um, can I mount up? No. Uh, okay, can I fast travel anywhere? Uh, I guess I'll just try heading to place that's red and seeing if I can do anything. Oh my goodness. There's an auction house here? The, the, the frick? Okay, we're nearly to the territory where the battle is happening, I guess? I can't help but notice that I'm rank 1. See at the bottom left, I'm level 1. So apparently PvP and World vs. World experience are not one and the same. Very interesting. So, oh, that's just an enemy. Can I, what level is that? It has no level. I, I just assume it's always just scaled the same, no matter what. So there should be a red camp here. Let's see if we can't go capture it. I wonder if there's going to be players. I see a veteran guard. Veteran supervisor. Uh, oh. That's a, that's, that's a lot of vet veteran enemies. And understand them to be kind of tough elites. So actually I'm going to do player versus environment here. I actually want to swap back to my torch on this weapon. Okay. Now we're good to go. Hey, you, get over here. Okay, this isn't too bad. Oh, they're all attacking me. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. You know what? I'm just... I'm just gonna run. Okay. Um... I need the help of another. I would have died there easily. One veteran I can take. Multiple, not so much. Uh, I haven't seen another player here yet. And I don't think there's a way to fast travel. Wait. No, that's not players. I have no way of knowing where other players are. Uh, oh, is that someone? Hey, how come he gets to ride a mount? Well, is he riding into here? Are we gonna, are we gonna fight together, dude? Wait, come back! Come back! No. Oh. Wait for me! 
Okay. He has some sort of gun. I have no idea what class he is, but you and me, buddy. Okay. He's got to attack. Let him have it. Oh, other players! Here comes the cavalry! Excellent! Get on you! Yeah, we're unstoppable, all of us working together. Okay, okay. Now we can take these guys out, presumably. Ah, the power of friendship! Alright, I can loot too. Some quartermaster. Ha! Who needs them? And now, you just capture this, I assume. Berry synthesizer and ore synthesizer. I assume you like gather resources out, out in the world and compile them to do good things for your team? Um. Alright, well, looks like you captured it. Victory for Team Green. Wonderful. And now this place is, cut, is populated by our own veteran NPCs. This guy's just on fire for some reason. Is that... Is that my blue fire? Did I do that? I got... I know I got blue fire, but... Ore synthesizer. I can mine? I got silver ore? No, that's not where you deposit stuff. You get stuff from this. The hell? Okay, I, I guess. Well, I did a thing. I contributed to the war effort. Um, I have no idea what else to do from here, so... Well, I suppose we should just kind of wrap this up, huh? Okay, well, the exit portal to that World vs. World match, that brought me to Lion's Arch, and I know Lion's Arch. Lion's Arch is, from what I was told by asking around in-game, the capital city of the base game. Like, before any expansions came out, Lion's Arch here was where everyone gathered and hung out, so... It's good to be here. Um, I've actually already fully explored this place. I did all map objectives, and I even found this crazy jumping puzzle with a pirate ghost in a cave, which was very humorous. I enjoyed that. So, to wrap up this video... Hello, neighbor. Um, I guess we can do a little bit of one of my favorite things to do, people watching. I'm still very unfamiliar with the fashion game in this, and I still have no idea what the sheer potential of what people can be equipped with and just look like in general with all these crazy dyes and outfits and appearances. So I thought it might be nice to just look at some players in various cities and have a look at their fashion. So yeah, let's start with this guy. Yo. This dark purple and bright red, I like that. I've seen this color scheme elsewhere. This guy looks cool, little skull face. Hello, he waved. How nice of him. That's a cool person. Cool fashion. This dude, meanwhile, that's bronze and green and... I gotta say, dude, the green just does not match. You should pick a darker shade of green. And that red spike blindfold? No. Just no. You look like a clown, my man. Not good. This man is scary. Yikes. I like the elemental gloves. He has a fire hand and what looks like a water hand. And a... Oh no, dude, what are you doing? Okay, that staff is friggin' beautiful as all hell, but... What is that rainbow and sparkles combined with your dark red evil grin look? Oh, it doesn't work, dude. You need a different weapon look. Or a different armor look or something. Oh, <laughs> those sunglasses. Oh, with all that shaggy lion's hair. He looks like the dude. He, that's, that's the big Lebowski right here. <laughs> you can't say um, I quite think the gloves match the tattered robe outfit. Or the flame tail but 
Yeah, you do you, I guess. The weird electrical shoulder doesn't quite work either. Just a bit of mismatch going on. Uh, a for effort, but no, not my style. What are you? Yo. Some sort of rune shaman. I dig this. The glowing runes on the body and the glowing eyes, that matches. Oh, that looks wonderful. Not so much the green weapons. I would change that to something more blue, but... It's a shame you can't die weapons. That must hold so many people back. And you... Okay, some Winter King. Uh, well, can't get too good of a look at him now, but... That doesn't really match. That helmet it was too golden in contrast to the... Uh, to the blue of the robes. Hello, are you another player? Oh no, come back. I want to look at your fashion and yell at you. Oh well. Are there players here? Yes. Looking for the blue names. Yep, that's an ice mage. I like the purple, like the... like the stained glass gloves. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that frozen meteor comet. Oh, that's an icy space comet with the sparkles. Oh, you're cool. You are an A-grade ice mage. Well done on you. As for you, Mr. Black and Green, that is some intense neon. Like, you can't even make out any details. That's like staring into Vanta Black. That's just black as it can get. I like I like it, though, because it makes that vivid green really pop, and it's not too ugly. That's a perfect balance. Well done. I do not like, however, the crystal glove. That just is way too distracting and way too eye-catching. Change your glove. You are an Asura. Good day, sir. <clears throat> Yo. Hello. Oh. You're cool. I want wings like that. Dark blue. Oh, that sword? <gasps> Yeah, that's like some sort of raven priestess. That's awesome. And hello, brutal steel and blue warrior. Oh, look at you. You are charred, clad to the nines in this iron. Some sort of electric axe and uh, energy shield. Yeah, you're a cool char, living up to that char fantasy of just metal and spikes. Well done. And what are you? Oh, no. Oh no. Oh jeez, what is that? Why would you do that to yourself, my man? Like, this com combo of the green energy and ice blue crystals could work, but you're not making it look, my dude. Oh. Oh my god, there's a lot of players here. Hello. Let's try and get a good look. This tall individual. That is a Norn. Hmm. I can't tell if I like it or not. Ah. The leggings seem a bit mitch, ma mismatched from the rest. I like the bold white and deep red color scheme, but I don't know about those pauldrons. Glowing white crystals in the shape of I can't even tell what that's supposed to be. I don't think it's so. The the pauldrons are just too mismatched. Spirits of the wild, Though I do like the sword. The sword matches the kit, as does this horn. A bit. No, the horn doesn't really match, but what can you do? You can't die a weapon, so I'll let it the slide. Spirits, but they rarely answer. Um? Can't really get too good of a look at others, because it's so jumbled. Hello. Nice mustache. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that option during character creation, but I didn't take it. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of cool, but um, the purple headband doesn't match too well. That's mostly from the hairstyle, I think. I don't think you can change that without paying real money. The digital sword doesn't match the axe. It, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not too fond of that. Man, I want a mount that can fly. Look at that dude. Just... Oh, someone else sees it. They're firing projectiles at it. Oh no, that's just a fountain. 
Ooh. Yo, some interdimensional vortex hunter. Oh, that's that bow is so cool. <gasps> and he made his armor around it. That is some good usage of die. Good theming, but mm. No, that that white highlight, that ain't it. That's too vivid and bright. It should be more of a lime green, like a seafoam green or a purple to match the bow better. The white is just a bit too much. You're so close to greatness, my dude. Well, ooh. Oh, I like what's going on here. Orange and white? Ooh. Orange and white. That is a cool color combo. Yeah, I like that a lot. That is unique and eye-catching. Well done. Now, the brass or bronze on the wings matches a lot. And, well, the stained glass portion is kind of... doesn't work completely, but... The overall look is just so good and complete, especially when you're looking at it from far away. Yeah, that's good. That's one of my favorites we've seen so far. Wonderful. Good work, you. Well done. There is a player. Oh, now that's actually pretty nice. Alright, so you got the black, but the rest is the same vivid pink. It's cohesive, it works, and it works with that sort. Whoa. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, let's move slower here. Whoa. That sword is cool. Wait, wait, come back. No, come back. I want to look at your sword. <gasps> no, let me look at your sword. Get back here. Get back here, you cow. Oh. Oh. I changed to a bow. Oh. That was a cool bow. I mean, a cool sword. I, w I want that. <laughs> Ooh. Black and yellow. <gasps> oh, this person's cool. The sort of machinery... Shoulders match those gloves. That person had a cool look. I approve. Shame we didn't get too good a look. What the hell? Look, I know you can dye your mounts, but at some point you just gotta dial it back a little, okay? Oh my god. Okay. This person is going for a very unique, intense look, I suppose. That is some cool armor. Yeah, you know what? That... That armor set she's got going on is awesome. I I like that a lot. Colors are subdued, but it's got this great metallic look. That's good. This person dresses well. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone else we can spot in here. Whoa. What the hell are you doing? Glowing yellow... Yellow cracked gun with a... Vivid blue and gold cloak and... <laughs> okay, you. You, mister. Look me in the eye. You should keep having your mom dress yourself, okay? Your mom should help you pick out clothes, okay? Go, 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 go call your mom. Ask her to dress you. Okay. Excelsior. Yo. That... Is a cool necromancer. He's even got just this perfect weapon for it. <gasps> You're cool. That's probably an entire set just put together, but the die work is worth complimenting. I'll say that much. Yeah, you are right. White and purple, that's pretty good. I like white and purple. That's one of my favorite color combos. A bit plain, but going by the weapon, you're probably a low-level leveling character. So what can you do? the hell? Is that a digital T-Rex? Okay. Yep, that's a fire elementalist, to be sure. I like the kind of Asian theme kind of going on. That It brings to mind like some sort of Chinese look. Yeah, you notice more and more detail the longer you look at it. I like this. The staff is pretty cool too, but it doesn't match at all, which is a shame. And you, what the hell is going on here? Oh. Oh no. Why would you make me look at that? What's wrong with you? Why? 
Why do you have to be the way that you are? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, well. Well, I suppose that's it. We, well... Yeah, I'm pleased with this video. So, fellas... We... I'm very glad I was able to thank all the people who sent messages my way and all this gifts and stuff. It, I've gotten a lot of help from a lot of people and I'm very thankful. And you know what? If you want to send me a friend request, I'll take it. You know, I might regret, regret that over the years as this video lingers on and I keep getting more and more requests. But yeah, if you want to be friends with me, send me a friend request. I'll accept. And um... Yeah, I'm very glad I got to see my very first dungeon in this game. I did a player versus player match where I kicked all the butt. I checked out world versus world, even though I have no idea what's going on. And it's, it was fun to just look at other players. Just take a real good solid look at and see what other people had going on. So, yeah. I will say this much, though. I... Right now, I cannot imagine making another Guild Wars 2 video. I don't think I ever will. I, I, there's no real reason to. It's not the kind of content I really want on my channel all the time or regularly. I have other things to let's play. I'm wrapping up Hollow Knight, the Steel Soul Permanent Death Challenge run, and after that I'm doing a blind playthrough of Minecraft. And after that, there's a Pokemon Heart Gold and Nuzlocke challenge run, and then I'm doing a blind playthrough of Disco Elysium, and I'm gonna play Mass Effect Trilogy, I'm gonna play more Phoenix Wright, I'm gonna play all these games like crazy, and I just can't fit more Guild Wars 2 into there. I can't make it a regular thing at the very least, so... I'm just very thankful and glad and... I just feel very happy that people enjoyed my Guild Wars 2 videos. I didn't expect the the feedback that I got at all. And I'm, I'm, I'm just very happy, so... Yeah. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been one last look at Guild Wars 2. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care. <laughs>